So this may be a contrarian opinion, but I don't get the popularity of super smooth hummus. Personally, I like it a little bit thicker with that somewhat coarser texture. Let me know down in the comments which texture you prefer, but whether smooth or coarse, today I'm here to tell you that hummus is one of the perfect bases for a quick weekday lunch or dinner. So let's break it down. Now, obviously you can assemble the plate as you please, but I think the core must haves are one, a protein, two, a roasted vegetable, and three, fresh accoutrements like pickled stuff and fresh herbs. So I'm gonna make these components fresh, but they store in the fridge so you can whip up a meal in less than 10 minutes. But let's start with the longest cooking item first, the roasted vegetables. To start, preheat the oven to 460 degrees Fahrenheit, then we'll prep the veggies. First, chop two peeled sweet potatoes into small cubes and toss them on a sheet pan. Next, cut about 20 Brussels sprouts in half and toss those onto the same sheet pan. Once chopped, add a large pinch of salt, a big glug of olive oil all over the top, and a big sprinkle of za'atar before mixing this together. So za'atar is a popular spice mixture used in Middle Eastern cuisine, but if you can't find this, just use whatever spices you want to. Once mixed, throw the entire sheet pan into the oven to roast for about 45 minutes. Now, you want to flip them once or twice after maybe 20 minutes, but we want to roast them until these are deeply brown and have some slightly crisp edges. With 45 minutes to chill, let's first make the hummus, then the ground lamb. Now, for the hummus, set a blender over a scale and add 60 grams of tahini, 20 grams of lemon juice, and a sprinkle of salt. Set that blender over high, and while it's spinning, toss in three garlic cloves until those are chopped. Now to turn this into hummus, add 250 grams or one can of drained and cooked chickpeas and 50 grams of ice cold water and a sprinkle of cumin seeds. Now you'll see in the blender, there's a fair bit of liquid to ensure that it blends. And like I mentioned, I like to blend mine up and I do like it on the thicker and coarser side. If you do want it thinner like this one, the only difference is I added 30 grams of extra ice water and just blended it for longer. You get to choose the texture. So toss that hummus into the container and just store it in the fridge until ready to use. But lastly, let's make the ground lamb. First, set a bowl over a scale and add one pound of ground lamb, then grate in three garlic cloves. Now for our spices, add a sprinkle of cumin seeds, smoked paprika, oregano, onion powder, cayenne pepper, and a dollop of harissa paste before mixing that together. Also, don't forget to add a large pinch of salt like I almost did. Once mixed, set a pan over medium high heat and add the meat. Now let this whole mass sear for about two minutes to develop some browning on the bottom and setting off the fire alarm is generally a good sign here. Now using a potato masher, mash up the meat. And again, I'm looking to get some really deep browning and crispy bits. So let this go for a little while extra longer. Finally, just transfer the meat to the plate. And lastly, add a spritz of lemon juice and these little pebbles of ground lamb are quite addictive. So obviously the hummus, the meat, and the roasted vegetables kind of make up the core base of the plate, but what really pulls everything together is all of those fresh vegetables. So let's cover some of my favorites, and then I'll meet you back here in just a minute for the taste test. First, I slice some cherry tomatoes in half, then toss them with a pinch of salt and about five to 10 cranks of black pepper. These are super simple, but adding the salt and pepper makes them so delicious. Next, I just have a plate with some thinly sliced cucumber, pickled onions, of course, feta cheese, freshly minced dill, and a slice of lemon for acidity. To assemble our plate, first spoon on the hummus and make a nice little well in the center. Now, I like to add a tiny drizzle of olive oil and a bit more of the zata. Next, add a couple of spoonfuls of the ground lamb and the roasted vegetables. Now for the fresh components, add the cucumbers, the seasoned tomatoes, a dollop of yogurt with some of that dill, and the feta cheese. Lastly, we have the pickled onions and a lemon wedge to spritz over the top, and we are ready to eat, my friends. So obviously serving pita with this would be a good option, but frankly, I don't find it necessary. I just kind of use the vegetables to scoop things up along with a spoon, and I'm, I'm in my happy place. Always gotta construct that perfect last bite. So I was starving, clearly. This was my first meal of the day, but very fun way to eat, very interactive. You can kind of mix and match your own bites with whatever you happen to put on the plate. And like I said, once you have this stuff in the fridge, like you can whip these out in a matter of no time. And it's really just about balancing those different flavors, the different textures with meats, vegetables, um, using pickled item, using fresh vegetables, fresh herbs. So hopefully you guys give this a shot. It's a really fun way to eat. It's a really satisfying meal. 
It doesn't seem like a ton of food, but it actually really, really does fill me up. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. That's gonna wrap it up for me in this one. Catch you in the next one. Peace, y'all.